So first and foremost, which is a very important pointer, um, when you receive your fast dry, you have to remember to clean your brush twice. Clean your brush twice. So before we even start, we take this brush out like this. We pick a paper towel and then we clean it all the way from the bottom of the stick to the tip of the brush. We put it back again. We do it again one more time. We clean it. You go here to the bottom of the stick all the way to the brush. And then we put it back. Now we throw this paper away. Open the powder up. Application is still the same. Take the brush. Don't forget to always wipe your brush before you put it in. And then you dip it. for a minute for it to dry off do not forget to always always brush away the residue of the powders you'll need um, this brush always make sure you brush away the excess powder to avoid contamination from the gel brush from the powder to the gel brush. Okay, one more time. Always make sure you brush, you clean your brush. There you go. Give it a minute or so. You go ahead and you brush the excess. Take it again. Always clean your brush. Now, it is recommended that you do not, you're not required to use a natural set sheer in order to encapsulate the color. You can just use the color twice or three times based on how pigmented you want, you want your uh, color to be, but it's not required for you to use natural set sheer because it would not activate with a fast dry. So it is recommended when you're using jealous colors, such as these uh, dark pigments, always just use two or three times of it without the natural set you're to encapsulate it. So this and this again, guys, it's a no-go. Okay. Now that our powder is already set, Go ahead and test it. It is dry. And when you touch it, it is dry. And it, you can actually press on it. There's no nail print. And you can just go ahead and use our SNS files of 100 or 180 grits to give it a nice file. And then we go ahead and buff it using our buffer of 100 to 180 grits. You just need the softer side. You do not need to use the harsh grit side. The reason why we're using the softer side is because um, the application is already smooth. There is no bumpiness. So therefore you do not need to use the harsh or the harder 
great size. Okay. You brush this one off. Make sure you always clean your area to avoid any cross-contamination from the powder to the brush, okay? And then we can go ahead and use our step number four, the gel top. Remember to always clean your brush and give it a minute. There you go. Now, while these are drying. Another pointer, before you actually, before you actually put your bottles away, you have to clean your brush again. We have to make sure we clean the brush again before we put it back in here after our application. So we will use our brush saver and this. This is a very important key point. We will need to use our brush saver to clean our brush before we stack it away. So how we do that, we take it off, we clean the first round again from here to here. Take your brush saver. We put it in here for it to clean. We take it out. Always make sure you clean it really good because you also do not want to have any brush saver residue in here. We do it again twice. Twice. We have to clean this brush twice before we put it back into our brush, into our um, base. Clean it again. Now that it's clean, we put it back in here and we close it. And that's how you avoid cross-contamination. Now the first gel top is already dried. We'll go ahead and do a second one. This is the end result, guys. As you can see. And these are the products that we use today.
So we will be using our fast dry gelless gel base with our American white and our pink, dark pink, yellow fast to dry, and our French mold. Again, important key steps before using this with these powders. You will have to clean your brush twice. Clean it twice before you apply your powders to the nails. So we will break the seal of this one. Pick this one up. Always clean it starting from here all the way to the tip. You have to clean it all the way to the tip. You have to do it two times, two times. Now, first thing first, we're going to do our pink first. Okay, and then we'll do our French. So first thing first, we take this gel base. Apply it left to right, always pressure. Uh, clean your brush. We dip it into the powder. I will use a brush like this in order to remove any excess powder. We'll do it again. We'll dip it in. Okay, give it a minute. We brush away the excess powder. Now that we're gonna be satisfied with the color, we just pick our white that we put in the French mold, and then we do the French white. Natural set sheer. Okay. Give it a minute. Again. Clean this off. Now we encapsulate. Okay. We clean it 
clothes or I'll draw those away. While this is drying, we go ahead and clean our brush. Make sure to clean your area from any dust or residue, okay? To avoid cross-contamination cross with our bottles. Now, first thing first, we bring our brush saver. Before we stack this away, then we close this bottle. We always have to make sure we clean this really good. And then we put it into our brush saver. Clean it really good. Put it in again. sure that there's no more Need to use sealer dry. 